chapter 9 and verse 10. That he doeth great things past finding out, ye wonders without number. So we believe in God that it's going to be a time today with you in the place of prayer and your life will never remain the same. Amen. Amen. All things, we believe in God for all things to manifest in our life. All things. When I say all things, I mean everything. Body, soul, spirit, finances, mental change, Amen. prayer life, Amen. maritally, Amen. materially, Amen. career-wise, Amen. all things. The Bible says in Genesis 9 verse 3, the last phrase, I've given you all things, all. And all means all. All means everything. Everything, all things. In Genesis 24 verse 1, it's and God blessed Abraham in all things. All. In Hebrews chapter 3 verse 4, it's every house is built by some man, but the builder of all things is God. All things is God. The builder of all things is God. So John 1 verse 2, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. So John 1 and verse 2, the Bible says in 1 John 2 27, that the anointing you have received teaches you all things. So we are in the generation of all things. In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 13, the Bible expounded to us how God empowers us and quickens all things. In 1 Timothy 6, 17, the Bible says that God has given us all things richly to enjoy. The Bible says in the book of um, Philippians 3, 21, that Christ is able to subdue all things. And the Bible says in Luke 14, 17, you see, all things are now ready. All things are now ready. In 1 Corinthians 3, 21, it says, all things are yours. Doesn't matter what you're looking for. Doesn't matter what you believe in God for. Doesn't matter what you desire. All things are yours. In Titus 1 verse 5, to the pure, all things are pure. You know what the Bible says? Which is going to blow your mind. I want to give you a prophetic word to somebody. Psalm 71 verse 7. Psalm 71 verse 7. I, I, that scripture has just been hitting my spirit. I am a wonder to many. I want to pray for you. Before we go into the prayers today. That this season of your life... You are going to be a wonder to many. Amen. This season of your life, you are going to be a wonder to many. Amen. You see, I am. When I walked in here at the studio, that scripture was just playing in my spirit. I'm a wonder to many, thou art my strong refuge. I'm a wonder to many, thou art my strong refuge. I'm a wonder to many. I'm a wonder. I'm a wonder. And I'd like you to make that part of the scriptures that becomes your fortress. Because if you are a member of Wonders Without Number family, one way, People will identify you in scriptures. One way you will be identified is your love for God, prayer, and the scriptures. Your ability to be addicted and to churn out scriptures and to just read out the word of the Lord. So it's very important today that we pray. We are about to go into the place of prayer and I'm believing God that there's going to be a new season for your life. Amen. It's going to be a new season for your life. Amen. I say it's going to be a new season for your life. Amen. It's going to be a new season. It's something we're going to consider today and we're going to pray. Body, soul, spirit, everything is going to be touched. Amen. God's going to touch every single aspect of your life. Amen. All things, everywhere. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. Colossians 1 verse 20 says, he wants to reconcile all things to himself. All things. All things. All things. And that's what God wants us to enjoy. That is our season of becoming particular. 1 Timothy 4 verse 8, I believe, he said, bodily exercise profited little, but godliness profited, is profitable to all things. So, we are in the season of all things, enjoying the all things of God, Amen. enjoying the all fullness of God, Amen. all blessings of God, Amen. all increase of God. Amen. Amen. So, get ready for all things. Like I said, your addiction to scripture is the logo, it's your logo, it's your identity card, it's your logo that you're a part of this family. We love God. It's non denominational. That you're a pastor, you're an archbishop. You are a reverend father, you are a priest, you are a lay servant, you are a worker in church, evangelist, whatever it is. We are coming together to say, we love this God and we are calling on him. We are taking authority 
command of force on him. Do something right now, everyone. Touch the like button. Touch the like button. Everyone watching on YouTube, touch the like button right now. You're watching on Facebook and all that. Share the link. You're watching on television. Take a, take a phone. Call somebody to get awake. That is time to pray. It doesn't matter the time zone you're in. You're going to bed. You're just waking up. You're early noon. It's time to pray. When you touch the like button, what are you doing? You're starting the war. You're starting the war. By saying, Satan, you're in trouble. This prayer is going to go round. You're not going to take advantage of anybody anymore. That's what you do when you touch the like button. So do that right now. Touch the like button. And we're going to pray. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow, whatever time zone it is, there's a surprise that we have that you're going to um, see tomorrow. But I'll keep that under, I'll keep that under wraps till tomorrow. We have a surprise. And um, I believe in God for great, great things to happen for you. Yeah, yeah, man. The studio is still going on. That's not the surprise. I know somebody said, oh, maybe we're going to be in the studio. That's not the surprise yet. I have a surprise tomorrow for you. So we're going to take something from the Word of God right now. And then we're going to begin to pray. We're going to begin to pray. So I want you to just believe God with me as we pray in His Word. You know, that's our confidence. I always tell you. This, 1 John 5 15, is the confidence we have. And we'll pray in line with His will to get at us. The confidence. So I'm believing God with you that God is going to hear our prayers today. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. All I have in you, in heaven and earth, all I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and earth. All I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you, Jesus, all I have is you, all I have is you in heaven and earth, all I have is you, all I have is you in heaven and earth, all I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and earth. All I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and earth. All I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and earth. All I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and earth. All I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. Jesus, all I have is you. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship is holy. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. Worship is holy. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Oh, my soul, worship is holy in it. Sing like never before. 
Oh, my soul, worship is whole. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, oh, my soul, worship is whole. Like never before, oh my soul, worship is holy. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship is holy. Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship is holy, worship is holy, I will worship is holy. Great are you, Lord, greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised. Father, you reign, great are you, Lord, greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Glory to be praised. Glory to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Glory to be praised. Glory to be praised. Father, you reign. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Where are you? Alibo Shagada Bragada Bragada Saka. Where are you, Lord? Alegele Gedoba. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Sobrana mana 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 mana. Where are you, Lord? Massa la bruga le bale bale bragi bale. Where are you, Lord? Raga la braga da braga da yata. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Bando sa pala kruga da bakuda bagdoria dia. Where are you, Lord? The glory of the Lord is here. The glory of the Lord is here. Where are you, Lord? Atamana, Atamana. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Spirit of God. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Where 
Apalimana gratia dia. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? So bala 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 bala. Where are you, Lord? Rakatobli man sacred that again. Where are you, Lord? Beni mana griana mulu subrahadash. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Ay 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 ay. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Jesus. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Abara mana 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 mana. Oh, rabadi abada baya bara 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 bara. Iso so 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 so. Iso so 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 so. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice to join my King. It is what you give. Let it be a sweet, sweet sigh. In your eyes, I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice to joy, my King. It is what you give. Let it be a sweet, sweet sigh in your ears. Let it be a sweet, sweet sigh in your ears. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul, just to join my King. It is what you give. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. I say, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy. Of my praise, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 oh. you are worthy of my praise. Thank you, my father. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Bow before you. We love you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. In Matthew 14, verse 8, the Bible says, And she, being before instructed of her mother, said, Give me here John Baptist's head in a charger. Give me here John the Baptist's head in a charger. Now we're going to pray. You must understand what is called spiritual mapping. 
in the place of prayer. In the act of praying, there's something called spiritual mapping. Spiritual mapping is your ability to understudy the times, understudy the season, understudy territories, and take it to the place of prayer. I repeat it. Understanding the time, spiritual mapping in the place of prayer is understanding the times, understanding the season, understanding territories, and taking that into the place of prayer. If you are working in an organization, for example, you must understand the territory. Understand there are organizations that are tribalistic. There are organizations that as witchcraft ruling. There are organizations that are very sentimental. The organizations that certain people are power brokers. You must understand that you go take that to prayer so you can soar in that organization. This is the end of the last the umba months, as they call it. There's a spiritual map. You understand this is the season where the blood sucking demons are on rampage to take lives, to kill, to waste, and to do all sorts of things. So when you understand spiritual mapping, you know how to pray. In First Chronicles chapter 12, I believe, verse 22. Of a statutory. He said the sons of Issachar were men because they had understanding of their times. He said, and their brethren were at their command. What does that mean? They understood the time, they know what Israel was supposed to do. First Chronicles 12 32. Now, he said they had we had 200 men and their brethren were at their command. What does that tell you? In Israel, most of the armies were 32,000, 40,000, 60,000. But Issachar, the tribe of Issachar, just had 200 men. But everyone was at, at their command. How come they could rule over a multitude? How come they could command a crowd? It's because they had the understanding of the time. They knew what spiritual mapping was. They understood the times and season. Not just knew the times and season. And knew what Israel ought to do at that time. So it's the man who knows what to do. That is in command of others. So they knew what to do. Now the place where we just read tells us about a man called John the Baptist. Actually, there were three births that were predicted before time. The first birth was the birth of Isaac. Before Isaac was born, God said to Abraham, he said, I'll give you a seed and that shall become a nation. So you are a father of many nations. Isaac was predicted. The second was Samson. Samson was predicted also before he was born. God said to Manoah, um, the wife, God appeared to the wife and the husband was in there in Judges 13. And the husband said, let the angel of the Lord return. He said, okay, the angel of the Lord will return. The wife had such a communion and fellowship with God that she was having angelic encounters. She was actually more spiritual than the husband. She was having angelic encounters and the angel had to come visit the husband to confirm it. Now, the third bird that was predicted that before time was John the Baptist. John the Baptist was predicted. The Bible says God spoke to Zechariah and said, I'm going to give you a child. You know, your wife called Elizabeth is going to have a baby. And the man doubted, so God made him dumb, so that his confession would not affect his prophecy. You see the part of that? What you say must not affect what you are expecting. So God sealed his mouth, so he never could not speak a word until the child was born, and he put a name on the child. So you are called John, and then his mouth opened. John the Baptist was one person who was of God, but he died pitiable. He died a mockery. He died a reproach. He died an apparition. He died a distant, a very distant past from what God intended of him. He died and went into extinction prematurely. Shamefully at that. You see, the Bible says celebration was going on. Someone was having a birthday party and they asked her what she wanted because she danced very well and pleased um, her stepfather, pleased his guest and he said, give me the head of John the Baptist. Now, we're going to pray a prayer today. This end of the year, we are in the season of the year that the, no celebration will collect my head. Amen. Any celebration calling for my head, receive exchange by fire. Amen. What does it mean to receive exchange? It means that let their head go for your head. Amen. If they want your head to go, their own head will replace it. Amen. I can't hear your amen. Their own head will replace it. Amen. He said, and she being before instructed of her mother, said, give me here John Baptist's head in a church. You see, the enemies, there is power in the head. You must understand what the head stands for. When the king wanted to kill Elisha, after those two women in 2 Kings chapter 6, we were arguing over who was going to eat their son first or last. I've taken a prayer on that when I was taking witchcraft. We may visit that some other time. The Bible says in verse 31, the king said, 
God do more to me if the head of Elijah remains on his head. In verse 32, Elisha said the same thing. The king wants my head. The enemy always goes for the head of people. Why? Because you know the part of your head. I'm going to identify four things about the head. Number one, the head is the seat of glory. So anything calling for your head is calling for your glory. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 3 from verse 1, he said, are they increased that trouble me? Many that say there's no hope for him in God. You know, verse, um, verse 2, they say there's no hope for him in God. Verse 3, but that will Lord that is shit for me. The glory and the lifter of my head. So your head is your glory. Your head. So anything calling for your head that wants your head is indirectly calling for your glory. Anything that says your head should be brought is saying that your glory should be brought. The head, what does the head signify? In Deuteronomy chapter 20, um, 28, verse 13. That shall be the head, not the tail. 28, 13, 28, 44. The head is for leadership. The head, for leadership. when you say someone is the head, the someone is a leader. When the Bible says you will be the head, it means you will lead. So anyone that is or anything fighting your head wants to stop you from leading, from being a frontliner. You see? From being a frontliner. Your head is the symbol of the anointing. Your head is the symbol of anointing. First Samuel chapter 10, verse 1. And Samuel took a vow of oil and poured it upon his head, upon the head of Saul. Psalm 23, verse 5. Thou anointest my head with oil. Your head is a symbol of the anointing. Don't forget, your head is a symbol of glory. Your head is a symbol of leadership. Your head is a symbol of the anointing. Your head is a symbol of authority. Colossians 2, I believe, verse 10. He said, Christ is the head of principalities and powers. Your head is a symbol of authority. When someone is the head, it means that person is in authority, is in command. You are completing him, which is the head of all principality and power. Number one, your head, the symbol of glory. Number two, your head is the symbol of leadership. Number three, your head, the symbol of anointing. Number four, your head, the symbol of authority. So anything calling for your head, these four things encapsulate the duty and more, actually, of the head. So anything calling for your head is calling for these four things. It wants your anointing, it wants your authority, it wants your leadership, and it wants your glory. And that is why you must fight it. You must stand against it. You must contend it. That any celebration calling for my head receive exchange by fire. Amen. Amen. Why do we believe in exchange? In Isaiah 43 verse 4, he said, I give men for thy life. God can give men for your life. He can give a thousand people for your life. He can give. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, I have loved thee, therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Sometimes, sometimes, most times, when you hear that there's an accident, people died, a believer is there, he escaped, or God brought him out. Actually, that was meant for him. What God just did was to give men for his life. You hear there was an accident, and people suffer bruises, if the people suffer bruises, it means that the grace upon the believer was actually what preserved them. But there, there had to be a reaction. You see? So, the unbeliever, or those who are not born again, or not believers, might end up being ransom for the believers. That's why they must be born again too. See? So, God says, I give men in exchange, in place for your life. That was precious in my sight. That was been honorable. I've loved thee and I have loved thee. Therefore, I will I give men for thee and people for their life. So we are going to pray a prayer today. That any celebration calling for my head receive exchange by fire. Amen. Amen. This end of the month, this end of the year rather, call your children's name. Call your husband's name. Call your family name. The name of your siblings. Any celebration calling for our head. Don't forget your head is your glory. Your head is your leadership. Your head is your anointing. Your head is your authority. Any celebration 
come before our head, receive extent by fire. Amen. Whoever wants our head, let that person's head appear in our place. Amen. Anywhere they summon for it, whether through a crystal ball, a divining mirror, an accusing tongue, an evil finger, let their head go for your head. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My father, my father. Let the enemy hear your voice. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Every celebration. Every celebration. Calling for my head. Exchange by fire. Every celebration. Every celebration. Calling for my head. Exchange by fire. Every celebration. Every celebration. Calling for my head. Exchange by fire. Every celebration. Every celebration. Calling for my head. Exchange by fire. Every celebration. Every celebration, 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 every
in Jesus name amen the Bible says, and she been before instructed of her mother. So the daughter demanded for the head, acting on the instructions of her mother. Conspiracy. 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 And she been before instructed of her mother. So most times, the attack we suffer from is on the platform of evil conspiracy. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 7 say it shall not stand. Amen. 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 I'm going to pray that, oh Lord, every conspiracy against me be terminated. Amen. Be disappointed. Amen. Every conspiracy against me. Be terminated, yeah. be disappointed. Yeah. You are going to type on your handle, Lord, disappoint their conspiracy. Yeah. Lord, disappoint their conspiracy. Yeah. Yeah. You will type that on your handle, handle and you will hashtag wonders without number. Lord, disappoint their conspiracy. Yeah. Yeah. Every conspiracy against me be disappointed, yeah. be terminated. Yeah. Be terminated, yeah. be disappointed. Yeah. 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 You will type on your handle, Lord, disappoint their conspiracy. Hashtag wonders without number. Disappoint their conspiracy. Hashtag wonders without number. Every conspiracy against me be disappointed. Amen. Be terminated. Amen. Be disappointed. Amen. Be terminated. Amen. Be disappointed. Amen. Be terminated. Amen. Every conspiracy against me be disappointed. Amen. Be terminated. Amen. Every conspiracy against me. Be disappointed. Amen. Be terminated. Amen. 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 Every conspiracy against me. Be disappointed. Amen. Be terminated. Amen. Every conspiracy against me. Be disappointed. Amen. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the Lord of Jesus. Every conspiracy against me. Be disappointed. You are deceived. Be terminated. You are deceived. Be disappointed. You are deceived. Be terminated. You are deceived. Be disappointed. You are deceived. Be terminated. You are deceived. Open your mouth and fire. We are Come on, 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 come on,
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. No demonic celebration will have your head. Amen. Any demonic and witchcraft celebration calling for your head, I decree a supernatural exchange. Amen. I decree may the head go for yours. Amen. No power can tamper with your glory. Amen. No power can temper with your leadership. Amen. No power can temper with your authority. Amen. No power can temper with the anointing of God on your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's somebody watching me in Israel. Israel. You just got the news that your mom is at the point of death. But this is the first time. The mom is from a place called Ede, E D E. Ede, Ede, E D E. And this is the first time the attack has been on her. This attack was orchestrated by a witchcraft uncle of yours. The mom is a praying woman. That's what has kept her till now. This person I'm talking about, you have something to do with July. That's your bed mom. Right now, the attack on your mom, it goes back to the center. Amen. Amen. And anyone under the sound of my voice, any way you attack, or any loved one around you attack, I package the attack in the name of Jesus back to the center. Amen. Amen. Somebody watching me in Birmingham, Like you are sliding into a stroke. Hmm. You are sliding into a stroke and you have somebody who has a hole in the heart. I decree that this attack of the enemy back to the sender. Amen. There's somebody who works, works in a radio house, in a radio. I don't know if that's like a presenter or an editor in a radio arm. Radio arm. You've been having a problem. The enemy tied your throat. And physically, your voice is almost gone. People keep standing in for you where you walk because your voice is almost gone. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree that whatever has tied your neck, tried your throat in the spirit realm, I set that rope on fire. Amen. Amen. Somebody watching me are from Saudi, Saudi Arabia. You have a venereal disease and you have another problem on your waist. The one on your waist started it is from the day you sat on a seat. It was demonically infested. A seat, you sat on it. 
from that day that affliction began. Right now, at the power of the Holy Spirit, I speak, you are free! Amen! Amen. There's someone by the name of Tamara. Her name is Tamara. 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 The Lord said to tell you that what was found, what was lost rather, is hereby found. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing about 106 people who are having marital crisis. Some of them are already out of their marriages. Not divorced, but just out. I decree that the peace that passes all understanding in your life, in your marital life, yeah. feel all that concerns you. Yeah. Amen. I decree. I receive it. The woman. You have a you own um you have a cook you cook and sell food like an eatery. You cook and you sell food. The Lord said to tell you that in 48 hours, right where you are selling. A destiny helper will come. Amen. Amen. A destiny helper will come. Amen. There is a young man, you are a preacher. Somebody just gave you a gift of a suit. I'm still seeing the label, the tag of the suit on it. Black, long with long stripes and colors. 